hello dear all so welcome back to my youtube channel and today i am going to discuss with you history of medicine at a glance so history of medicine is included in our syllabus so let's took a quick glance at the various important medical histories in the world so let's proceed so importance of knowing the history of medicine we start with the famous quote of sir winston churchill he says the more you can look back the further you can go forward understanding the past allows us to navigate the future so we will take a journey through time from the origin of medicine from primitive age to the innovations that define modern health care of today's time medicine began as an art medicine was born out of sympathy and medicine gradually evolved as science but over a period of centuries and centuries now what is medicine is it a drug no medicine is the field of health and healing it covers diagnosis treatment and prevention of diseases it allows medical research and many other aspects of health to study history of medicine why to study so again we further elaborate what is medicine it is the field of health and healing it covers diagnosis treatment and prevention of diseases it allows medical research and many other aspects of health why to study medicine the study helps to connect people with environment cultural events to search causes and correlate with diseases and their management to understand the evolution the journey of various health related problems thus it initiates curiosity in the mind to search the reasons so studying medicine's history helps us to understand its roots and inspires curiosity to seek the answers to today's many unsolved health challenges so history began as long long years ago ages so it starts with the primitive age the stone age 2.5 million years ago so the first history of medicine is primitive age or it is called as prehistoric period prehistoric period means in this period no written documents were available to us so let's explore how medicine has evolved through ages so today we are enjoying modern medicine in this 21st century with the best healthcare with the lot of modern technology as well as invent of various drugs so journey continues to make future of mankind better and better but still many unknown darks in human health are yet to explore and many questions still remain unanswered over a time humans have developed rudimentary medical knowledge advancing through cul their cultural evolution so culture has played a tremendous role in the development of medicine
so let's take a glance at what medicines we are going to discuss so the various medical histories in the world we are going to have a quick glance so medicine in the ancient times is primitive medicine then mesopotamian medicine the ancient medicine again in india it is called as indian medicine we discuss ayurveda followed by evolving greek medicine roman medicine chinese civilizations renaissance period followed by 17th 18th 19th century 20th century and the current 21st century let's take a quick glance so medicine began in way back in ancient time as primitive age the man was not at all having the intelligence to understand his health so nature was the cause of disease so the accidents and uh, uh, injuries or the the man fell prey to the wild animals and this led to his death so they believed over a period of time on supernatural theory of diseases means they believed on the various the floods the earthquakes taking place in nature because of wrath of god so we discuss this in detail in the forthcoming videos so this primitive age is divided into further as old stone age man and new stone age man Paleolithic age is a old stone man. So this man was called as a gatherer, and he used the instruments of simple pebble tools, and did not have the you know the fine instruments with at his hands. So just used the crude stones in the nature as his instruments. He was called as a gatherer. he gathered whatever available in the nature as his food the neolithic man that is the new stone age man the era is 8500 and bc he was uh, called as a cultivator because he knew the art of cultivating he was a improved with respect to the clothing with his instruments which he could shape the instruments use javelins and throughout the world you will find the settlements of this new stone age man then comes the mesopotamian medicine called as cradle of civilization from the era of 5000 bc the red circles the oval circles they mark the two rivers very important in the journey that is euphrates and tigris where the first settlements in the world have supposed to taken place mesopotamian medicine was developed and called as the beginning of civilization means cradle of civilization followed by here in asia it is the indian medicine also followed simultaneously way back from 5000 bc called as ayurveda with the important contributor charak who has been who has written charak sanhita compiled 600 drugs lord dhanvantari is the father of ayurveda so we discuss this and study this later individual histories followed by greek medicine yet 3000 bc with the they considered apollo as god of healing and greek medicine gives us our father of medicine hippocrates way back in 460 bc followed by roman medicine 100 bc with the famous king julius caesar and the important key figure in this roman medicine galen whose teachings lasted for 1000 years in the medical 
world followed by chinese medicine development in 2500 bc important key, key figure was shen nang and confucius who gave the religion to world followed by dark age where we saw fall from 5th to 14th century ad so petrarch gave the idea of dark age so this picture denotes the selling buying works in the european countries during this dark age where no development in the culture in the medical field and education took place hence it is called as dark age followed by renaissance era in 15th 16th century in europe this renaissance era marks the scientific advancement it sparked really well the progress in anatomy and surgery the key figure is the leonardo da vinci who contributed tremendously with his artistic drawings and also had a upper hand in the scientific technology this era laid the groundwork for discoveries in later centuries followed by 17th century the medical field developed with the rise of apothecaries that is the pharmacists who ran the pharmacy shops distributed the medicines apothecaries in germany had lot of importance in the society so the this picture denotes 17th century that the shop of grocer and druggist was there together 18th century medicine marks the smallpox vaccination discovered by edward jenner so this picture is there and doctor is the now examining the patient's urine so the 18th century marks the development in the medical field 19th century the this again a picture shows of pharmacy in 19th century and the birth of homeopathy by our great loving founder of homeopathy dr hanneman 20th century medicine marks the birth of modern medicine so thus 20th century saw unprecedented breakthroughs from antibiotics and also to organ transplants so the field of medicine started improvising tremendously and saw a considerable growth in the field of medicine and surgery 21st century medicine the it realizes the importance of stem cells with the modern technology lot of machines have been developed to have to early diagnosis of the diseases in uh, mankind thus from primitive rituals to cutting edge technology of today's times medicine's journey is ongoing continuously many mysteries in human health still remain thus studying history equips us to explore the unknown and make medicine even better for future generations thus the journey continues thank you all for joining me on this historical journey in the field of medicine